Well, Ron, it's great to speak with you today, and I look forward to hearing your views on the topic of supply chain integration. Uh, can you start by providing a brief background of yourself? Sure, Justin. Um, I have a, a bachelor's degree in supply chain management. Um, I'm currently the uh, director of education for the LA chapter of Apex, uh, the organization for operations managers. Um, I have, uh, I'm about halfway through uh, my master's cohort uh, for the MSSCM program at Michigan State University. Um, and uh, I've been a business owner and in the supply chain industry for about 30 years. Can you talk about what is supply chain integration? Um, supply chain integration is the what I believe to be the next frontier in, in business transformation in the United States. Um, we, manufacturing facilities and, and manufacturing companies have um, put lean to work and Six Sigma and TQM and those types of things to uh, vet out any waste in their programs. Um, and integrating the supply chain is the next uh, big thing, I think, because what we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to allow uh, faster information, uh, more information between not only our customers and then ultimately the end user, but also in tier one, tier two suppliers. So if you look at as a uh, the supply chain as being on a vertical plane, um, it, it's a matter of the entire chain starting from tier one, tier two, and, and in some cases, tier three suppliers, all the way to the end consumer uh, or, or retailer using point of sale data and things of that nature, uh, getting that information flowing both ways as quickly as possible uh, in, in the information then for both supply and demand. And where do you see business heading in the future? Well, I think that it's as this the, this type of vertical integration uh, begins to become more and more popular, and there are some companies out there that are doing an excellent job at it. Um, obviously, you can look those up. I don't want to uh, um, use any names in this interview, but look those companies up, and you're going to see that what they're doing is they're building that, that vertical supply chain, and, and, and um, we're seeing supply chains compete against supply chains. No longer is it just the manufacturing company or just the retailer competing against other manufacturers and retailers. But as these, um, this integration begins to take place and these, uh, these companies become uh, more and more um, partners, uh, to use for lack of a better word, partners in the actual moving the product and getting it the product that the end customer wants when they want it and, uh, and doing it at the best price, those types of things are going to, uh, as that happens, we're going to see then supply chains uh, compete against supply chains. And when that happens, then um, we're going to see some much stronger, uh, I think, um, manufacturing and uh, supply and distribution, but we're going to see uh, a lot better, higher quality, um, lower price products for the end consumer and having those available when they need them. So that's really what a supply chain is in business for, is to provide a product to the end customer. So how should supply chain professionals respond to this trend? Well, I think the big thing is, uh, again, uh, would be to uh, understand that, that in how integration works and, and how it uh, can, can make you more competitive. Uh, I've seen... Uh, I've been in, in a lot of different companies, both in consulting and in my uh, work history, where I've seen different levels of integration. Some companies are willing to share more information, some less. But as, uh, as they start to understand the integration and what it can do to the overall process and to what it can benefit and what value it can add to the end user or the consumer, They'll, under, they'll start to get more information on how to become integrated. Now, that, that information is out there. There are a lot of professional organizations that you can get certifications on, on integration. Uh, I, I'm on uh, the CSCP certified through APEX, which is a, a uh, certification that really um, the integration portion of the supply chain is really heavy in that training. 
Um, there are many out there other than that. Um, those types of things in that training is going to be something that, that manufacturing and uh, supply chain individuals throughout uh, all companies should be getting involved in, finding that training and making use of it. Well, thank you, Ryan, for sharing the, these views on supply chain integration. No problem, Dustin, anytime. Great.